What's going on? My name is Dylan Grek and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you've been following my YouTube channel, you would have noticed that I kind of hit the pits. I haven't really been uploading as much as I really wanted to. And I thought this might be a good opportunity to explain a couple of things on why I haven't been uploading as well as an update on my training and where all of that is. Uh, just a little hint, I kind of hit the pits as well and my YouTube channel and my trading kind of go hand in hand. However, I thought this would be a good opportunity to explain a couple of things. Now, of course, I do intend to continue the YouTube channel, hence my previous upload. And I want to give a little bit of an insight into the direction of the YouTube channel moving forward. So, of course, I'll be uploading. So, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. And, of course, if you do like this video, consider liking it as well. It will mean a lot to me, of course. I really appreciate all of you. So I know I've mentioned this before and I'm sure some of you out there that are currently trading or even doing their own YouTube channel would have firsthand experience of this. You would know that if you had aspirations to do anything or become anything, it all takes a tremendous amount of time and effort to do so. And of course, trading as well as juggling a YouTube channel as well, all at the same time is no exception. Now, of course, you do need to balance these things out and you will have to make sacrifices along the way because of course there's only 24 hours in a day and if you're working a full-time job like myself doing your side hustles and doing you know your hobbies you do have to fit those into the remaining eight hours of the day because the other eight of course you're sleeping and even then because we do know that of course all of these things are very very difficult nothing is of course easy you might feel sometimes that you are going against the wind or even you're going backwards and you're not getting any traction that you would hopefully want to get even with all the time and effort that you've put into some of these things. Now, if you watched my very first video, which it's kind of not the best video, it was my first one. But anyway, if you've watched that one, you would know that the whole point of this YouTube channel is to document my journey of becoming a successful and professional trader showing you the ups and downs and being as authentic as I possibly can, well, not possibly can, being authentic actually, to actually share with you what really happens to somebody that is, you know, trying to become successful at trading and trying to make eventually, you know, a decent amount of money from it. Because a lot of things that you see on the internet, unfortunately, is, you know, not the real thing, which of course I'm sure you're already aware of. And we know that the failure rate for trading or becoming a successful trader is 99%, where really 1% of traders actually end up becoming successful. So I've already shared with you, of course, what happened with the prop firm Maverick, where I was truly excited to actually be joining a prop firm, only to be, you know, for myself disappointed because the level that I was at and the direction that I was going with, you know, for example, automated trading, it really didn't suit my, my style of trading. It didn't really fit me. And with the monthly desk fees, it wasn't really worth it in my opinion. So I ended up quitting. Now, another prop firm, which is one that I did try out for and one that I documented on the channel is the Fivers. Of course, they have a challenge associated with that. Now, this is a six month challenge, which I did showcase in my Fivers video. However, I never ended up doing a recap or a follow up video after the six months. You probably would have guessed it. I ended up failing the challenge. And within a couple of videos that I did follow up after the Fivers video, I did showcase that, well, you do really need a 70% ROI trading strategy to end up passing the challenge if you did the numbers or you needed to up your risk and rely on a little bit of luck to actually pass the challenge. And I kind of did the latter and I, well, didn't pass. I ended up hitting the maximum drawdown requirement, which look, it was fine. And I kind of expected going into that, that my trading strategy and where I'm at at the moment, I wasn't 100% confident and I wasn't going to be 100% guaranteed that I was going to pass the challenge. And I knew that going in. However, as I mentioned, I was a bit reluctant to actually release a video on that because I really didn't want to showcase the failures of me, you know, not being successful at the prop firm trading challenge. However, it wasn't until recently after taking a couple of months break off the YouTube channel and even off trading that I ended up going full circle and then revolving back to the real reasons why I created this YouTube channel. And that is to document everything from start to finish the ups and the downs along the way. So that that way, you know, other people can actually see the reality of what it's like to become a trader. So at this point where I'm at at the moment, I'm happy to trade my own money and continue to develop on the current trading strategies that I have. And of course, newer trading strategies and focus on the YouTube channel and my own trading before I worry about a prop firm. So that's just 
just me personally. I'm fortunate enough to, of course, be working a really good job where I don't need the prop firm funds at this stage to actually fund, you know, my my actual daily expenses. And that's the beauty of doing swing trading or part-time trading whilst working a full-time job. I, of course, did a whole video on this recently. I'll leave a link up the top. Now, it's interesting because people generally only want to see success and what is documented on YouTube, on Instagram, or what you see from, of course, the Forex gurus is all the successful moments when it comes to trading. And that is really the whole reason why I created this YouTube channel, because I wanted to be authentic and I wanted to be real. And that is unfortunately, and I'm sorry, but what I neglected, particularly for the Fibers video, I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because I feel that people psychologically want to follow success or successful people. They want to see the cars in the mansions because that's the lifestyle they want and that's what they aspire and dream to be. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. It's like having a pinup poster on your wall to show you and remind you of where you want to go and where you want to be. However, as we all know, particularly in the trading space, some of this is very gray and some of it is very shady. Now, I think people now are woke enough to realize that not everything that they see on the internet is necessarily true, particularly in the trading space. However, However, what I do know is that although people want to see the successes, they also want to see the failures when it comes to trading, because I think there is definitely an appetite to showcase the failures because they want to see the truth behind trading, what it's really like to actually start from the bottom, to get to the top, to get to the 1% of traders. We all know that it's not necessarily easy, but they also want somebody to go on the journey with them. And that is why I created the YouTube channel. And what's really important is that people will be able to learn from not only the successes, but also also the failures in a very authentic way. It's good to, of course, learn from your mistakes, but it's even better to learn from the mistakes that others have made. So after hitting the pits a little bit with the training, and of course that subsequently followed on with the YouTube channel, because as I mentioned, they go hand in hand, I ended up taking a little bit of a break and I ended up slowing down. Now I've been learning how to trade and been trading for three years now. And I personally think I am very close to being somewhere in the higher echelons of the 1% of successful traders. But even then, noting that I am very close to that stage, I still needed to take a break, not even worry about trading or the YouTube channel and just to do something else just for a little bit. And then after that, when I'm ready, come back and actually plan out the future of the YouTube channel and of course the future of trading. And that's the beauty of just slowing down and having a little bit of a breather. So that way you can recalibrate and ensure that the direction that you are going with whatever you are doing is of course the best one for you. And of course, this is very counterintuitive to what our natural instinct is and that is because especially in the society we are living in today everything is very instant and we want everything now and we want to be the first to do it and that of course is the mentality for everybody particularly starting off in trading or maybe even starting their own youtube channel or whatever it is that you are doing you're very hyped to do something going in there a million miles a minute not necessarily having a plan going forward and that was kind of where i was previously at with the youtube channel and the trading as well and the thing is if you don't actually slow down or don't actually have have time to have a breather and really plan out what you're going to be doing, then it will impact you very, very badly to the point where you might not be reaching your expectations, you're being too hard on yourself, or even you might actually stop, quit, or even fail at whatever it is that you are doing. So what does that mean for the YouTube channel? Well, I'm actually really hyped to be starting up the YouTube channel, well, not starting it up again, but continuing on with it, I suppose. I'm actually really excited to be sharing with you, of course, the MQL5 series. And as you would know, this YouTube channel is not just focused on trading. There's other things that I want to talk about like investing or even the foundations of finance and, and the like and really expand the content on the YouTube channel and document the process there. Again, the community is what keeps me going. You are what keep me going. 2,000 members in the Discord. It's just really, really crazy that people are actually going in there, talking amongst themselves and helping each other and learning from each other. That is really what I wanted to make out of the YouTube channel is a community. And if you're not already a part of it, join the Discord link down in the description below. Just like the YouTube channel, the Discord is completely free. So pop in there and say hello. Now, I know I've already mentioned prop firms, but if you've been following me, there is one that I am affiliated with and not only myself, but the No Nonsense Forex Discord is affiliated with, and that is Ultra Capital. If you are ready to join a prop firm, feel free to have a look at Ultra Capital and you'll be able to receive a little bit of a discount if you use the affiliate link down below and an FXR. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this little journal update. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy trading out there and I will see you in the next one.